you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and more specifically Waynesboro, Virginia. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of Waynesboro and show you some of the communities in Waynesboro, some of the restaurants, some of the shopping, some of the neighborhoods, and just give you a better idea what's available in Waynesboro. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a little bit about the census data of Waynesboro and also share with you a market report so that you can have more information about Waynesboro. And we're going to get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Virginia, from its beautiful mountains to its valleys and more specifically towns like Waynesboro, then click on that subscribe button and touch that bell so you can be the first to be notified about any updates about the market in Virginia. Hi, my name is Stephan Gleason along with my wife and partner Leslie and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to make a move to Virginia's mountains and valleys and we absolutely love it. So whether you're planning on moving in nine days or 90 days, pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. The information's in the description down below and we'll be happy to help make your move to Virginia as smooth as possible. So as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna take you on a tour of Waynesboro on a map. And so we're just gonna get to it right now. So Waynesboro is a town in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. And you can see here on the map, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see the, the town is uh, 15 square miles in area. If I zoom out a little bit, there's Stanton. We've talked about Stanton in one of our past videos that we've done, but give me a general idea of where it is, um, a little bit in relation to the rest of Virginia. Uh, up north, about three hours away, you've got Washington, D.C. You have Richmond, Virginia, about an hour and a half away. Uh, Virginia Beach, all the way down here at the uh, ocean, which is only about three hours away uh, from just a little over three hours from Waynesboro, from Waynesboro, Virginia. Um, the great thing about Waynesboro is, is that it sits on Interstate 64, which goes all the way into St. Louis, Missouri, and comes all the way and goes all the way out to the uh, to the Atlantic Ocean in Virginia Beach. And uh, another route that you have just a few miles away is Interstate 81. Interstate 81 uh, north-south gets you to uh, Tennessee, North Carolina in the south and Pennsylvania and all the uh, northern states um, on the east coast. So uh, located in really a, a very um, a, a good area for transportation as far as getting to different places in the uh, up and down the eastern seaboard. We'll zoom back. We'll zoom back in here real quick and uh, take a look a little bit more specifically at Waynesboro itself. And um, in our video that we did, and you can take a, you can take a look at that uh, right up here. Uh, but in our video that we did, we uh, about a vlog about three took three neighborhoods of the area. Um, we uh, we looked at these three neighborhoods. The first one was um, the Claybrook and Evershire um, uh, neighborhoods, and those neighborhoods sit right in this area right here. And the price of homes in those areas was about um, three hundred thousand dollars to. Um, four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, and uh, whoops, four hundred twenty-five, four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, and that was in the Claybrook and Evershire neighborhoods. Uh, after that, we went and we took a look in the um, Waynesboro Co. Uh, the Co Corridor Overlay Edition and the Rose Hill neighborhoods, and these these neighborhoods were in the central part of um, of Waynesboro. And uh, we found in that neighborhood that prices in the in, in many of those houses there they range from about three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars to about five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And uh, those are homes were uh, older homes, uh, many of them built in the nineteen twenties and thirties and forties. And uh, whereas the first neighborhood we looked at were all newer homes. But the ones in this area, the ones in the area in the middle of town were more stately and they were more, uh, had a lot of character to them and just kind of a neat neighborhood to live in. And then finally, the uh, last place that we looked at um, was the Loving Acres um, uh, area. And the Loving Acres area had, had very large lots, uh, five, 10, 15 acre lots. 
and it was in the um, southern part of um, of Waynesboro. And uh, the prices that we looked at in there, those houses range from about five hundred thousand dollars to just under eight hundred thousand dollars. But the neat thing about that neighborhood was that the lots were very big and uh, had a lot of land to do things to do a lot of things on that you uh, wouldn't have in some of the other places that have smaller lots. And so if you're looking for large areas of land, that's definitely a great neighborhood to get into. Um, the um, few things about um, Waynesboro itself, when we take a look at uh, one of the things you say, what does Waynesboro have to offer? Well, uh, one of the things that's really neat about Waynesboro is it has uh, several nice community parks in it. Um, one of those community parks, uh, we'll just start out right here in the middle. You see right here, you see Ridgeview Park. And uh, Ridgeview Park is um, uh, really neat. It has, it has some uh, baseball fields, playgrounds, pickleball courts, if you're into pickleball. And, uh, but one of the neat things it really has, it has a place called Serenity Gardens. And uh, of course, during the summertime and springtime, fall time, it's really very, very beautiful in that area. And in there, in the gardens, they have what's called the People's Bell. And uh, the People's Bell is all about cancer and fighting cancer. And so um, uh, if, you ha uh, if you have someone, I, uh, my mother passed away of cancer. And so uh, it's a very difficult thing, but to go into a nice garden and there's a bell there that you can ring. And uh, that's uh, that you can you ring it for three reasons. You can celebrate, uh, the end of treatment. Um, you can remember a loved one, or you can just uh, hope that uh, we'll bring hope uh, of a cure for cancer for all. So, just kind of a neat little thing down in um, in Ridgeview Park that uh, a, a serene garden amongst the rest of the activities that are going on in the park. Another park that you're going to find, Conyers Springs Park, and you can see Conyers Springs Park is here. It's 145 acres, and the big thing about Conyers Springs Park is that it has a lot of walking trails. And so if you're looking to get out and walk, this is a great, great place to do that. Um, there's also, the last part I wanna talk about is Basic Park. Basic Park, the reason this is called, I'll zoom in here a little bit as well for you, um, so that you can actually kind of see the park a little bit, but there we go, I messed my circles up. <laughs> but there you go, Basic Park right here. And um, the Basic Park, uh, it's only about 30 acres, uh, but one of the cool things about Basic Park, as you can see, it run, it lies right along the South River, which is the river that runs through the city of Waynesboro. And this, air, this river here at this area is stocked with trout, and it's a place where parents bring their children and they go um, fishing for the trout. <laughs> the funny thing about it is the parents can't do hardly anything. They're allowed to bait the hook, they're allowed to um, they're allowed to uh, um, uh, uh, unattach the hook from the fish, and they're also allowed to cast the line. But other than that, there's nothing that they're allowed to do. It's all about the kids, and so uh, really a neat opportunity if you have children to take your children down there and go trout fishing in the South River, pulling through Waynesboro. So, but those are some of the parks. There's a lot of neat activities that go on in these parks. And, uh, but of course there's other activity, there's other activities as well. And, and these activities um, are some that you will see in some of my, some of my other videos. But one of those things is um, uh, we have two ski resorts, uh, which are four season ski resorts. When I say four season, that means they have activities for all four seasons. Uh, one of those is here at Massanutten. And uh, that ski resort has a water slide there, four season water slide. Of course, it has skis, has two golf courses, and that's at Mass and that's about 45 minutes away uh, from downtown Waynesboro. And the other one is, um, the other one is Wintergreen. There it is. The other one is Wintergreen. And Wintergreen, travel up the mountain, Wintergreen is about 35 minutes um, from downtown Waynesboro right here. And so, uh, Wintergreen has its own, it has two golf courses as well. And uh, it also has course skiing and, uh, and a lot of neat different types of homes there, as well as in Matt Nutton, that Mass and Nutton, if you'd like to live there, you can, you can choose to live there as well. So uh, as far as uh, I always like to bring in, and I'm sorry if you're not a golfer, but I, I do enjoy golf, but uh, 
Um, so I always bring that in when I talk in the videos. But uh, we do have one uh, golf course in Waynesboro, and it's right here, Orchard Creek Golf Course. Orchard Creek is a private course. And so you would require a membership to be there. And from uh, I'm not a member, but from what I understand, it is a very popular course uh, by many people in the town. Um, so also looking at some other things as far as recreation goes, one of the other things is the uh, Skyline Drive, which uh, starts right here. If we were to draw a line right between, right there at the top, there's actually a little pass through the mountains here, although you still go up a pretty, uh, good climb to get over the mountain, as we, as we say. But uh, Skyline Drive goes all the way up the ridge of the Blue Ridge Mountains, all the way up to Front Royal, Virginia. And um, if you were to go south, then on this ridge down here um, is the Blue Ridge Parkway. And the Blue Ridge Parkway goes all the way down into uh, North Carolina. And so again, following the ridge, so it's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful trail, or excuse me, a beautiful road to travel on. And along with that, of course, is also the Appalachian Trail. And as a matter of fact, you can see, and it follows basically the same places that I just showed you, but if we zoom in here a little bit, you can even, you can see that, um, there we go, there's Skyline Drive. McCormick, oh, I forgot, McCormick Gap Overlook, a, a beautiful overlook where you can see into the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia and you can see into to Waynesboro itself. And, and on the south side of that, uh, you've got the Rockfish Valley Overlook, which overlooks into the western side, or excuse me, the eastern side uh, down toward Charlottesville and just a really neat, really neat place to um, to um, see and to, to view. But I was mentioning the Appalachian Trail and um, I may have to zoom in a little bit more. There it is. See the dotted line along here. This is the Appalachian Trail. And, the, and so you can see how close um, the Appalachian Trail right here at this, this intersection, how close it is to Waynesboro. Literally, you're about five, 10 minutes away from right here, the Appalachian Trail. And uh, it just, is very, very accommodating to those people who like hiking. And um, it's some great hikes as well, of course. Um, of course, I also mentioned that you have Shenandoah National Park. Uh, Shenandoah National Park is just to the north of, of Waynesboro here, uh, up in the, just uh, up just northwest, of, north, excuse me, northeast of town. And also, if you're looking for um, other activities, for example, there is there are multiple caves in the area, and and one of those is in the town of Grottoes, just north of here's Waynesboro down here, but just north here, roll out just a little bit more, is the town of Grottoes, about 25 minutes to the north, and in Grottoes there is the Grand Caverns. And uh, there's multiple other caverns uh, on north of there, but those are the closest ones to Waynesboro. So if you enjoy going to caves and seeing caves, then that opportunity is definitely here uh, in the area. When we look at the, um, uh, some of the things in, uh, other things in town, um, if you have children or if you just enjoy it yourself, uh, one of the neat places in town is, is a place called Fast Track. And uh, it is, Oops, I'm at the wrong intersection. Fast Track, it's over here in the area of Waynesboro where most of the shopping takes place. So if I were to zoom back out, you can see the whole town of Waynesboro and I zoom in to the intersection along I-64. Most of your shopping uh, in the area, although there's other areas, uh, is, is, in this, is right here along the interstate. You can see there's a Target on this side of the road, the interstate, uh, there's a Kohl's. Uh, some of the restaurants, uh, Cracker Barrel, some of the names that you know, Golden Corral, there's Five Guys, Panera, over here is McAllister's Deli, so uh, Walmart's over here, Lowe's, Home Depot. There's a lot of different, a uh, lot of different opportunities for shopping. This is what I would say the heart of the shop, where the heart of the shopping in Waynesboro is. Now, there is also some other shopping on the other side of town as well and um, over along uh, Highway 250 here, okay? Uh, also known as Main Street through Waynesboro. But there, again, there are some things, there are some, there are some other shopping uh, opportunities over here as well, but the heart of them uh, are in along Interstate 64. Um, 
the um, I mentioned, I, I started to talk about for the kids and I dropped it fast track. Fast track is kind of a neat little place for the kids right here along the interstate. As you can see, it's got go-karts and they have an arcade there. They've got some batting cages. They've got miniature golf. So if you're looking for some fun, something to do, that's right there, very convenient on the edge of town. And, and um, some other things as far as uh, some of the other restaurants. Uh, not a whole lot of restaurants in the downtown area here, although there are several. But um, some that I would uh, draw your attention to, a couple that I would draw your attention to um, is, um, is uh, the River Burger Bar. And um, it's up here on the other side of town. There we go, called the River, and it is a burger bar. And uh, it's kind of a neat place to go and to, so as I mentioned, the River, it's a burger bar. It's a really neat place to go. And uh, then there's another place, which Benny Stavales, okay? Benny Stavales is a pizza place. We just call it Benny's out here. And one of the thing about Benny's is if you've never had a 28 inch pizza, you definitely want to go to Benny's. These pieces are the size of your head. And uh, if you have a hollow leg, you might get a couple of them down. But for most of us, one piece is enough <laughs> to fill you up. So just a really neat thing to go and to see and, and to be able to eat and to do. It's a lot of fun to be there with your with your family and friends. And that's Benny's here in Waynesboro. They're kind of a regional uh, restaurant. There are several places around Virginia that they are. They have one up in Harrisonburg as well. So, uh, but Benny's is a really neat place. If you're looking for places, um, you know, for drinks and things like that, there are multiple, multiple um, uh, uh, beer, places for beer. You've got, uh, and distilleries, you've got uh, the Basic City Beer Company right here. There's also Shenandoah Brew Works, Seven Arrows Brewing, and Stablecraft Brewing. And if you're looking for wineries, there's multiple wineries in the area, Barron Ridge, Pollock uh, Valley Road, and then there's even more uh, across across the mountain uh, here in the Afton area, down to Yancey Mills and Crozet. There's there's seven vineyards. As a matter of fact, there's there's like seven vineyards in this area right here. And so if you enjoy vineyards and wine, you will have no shortage of opportunities to try many different types of wine in uh, the Blue Ridge of Virginia and in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Um, the, um, there, are, there are some uh, arts that take place down in, um, in, uh, in Waynesboro. Uh, one of the places is the Wayne Theater, led of course by the Wayne Players, and a really nice community theater to go in to watch a play. So it's nice to really have a balance of things as, as well. Um, so those are some of the the, the uh, places in um, in the Waynesboro area and some of the things to do around the area. Um, and again, as I mentioned, the areas that we looked at in our in our other video uh, were one on the north side of town, one on the center side of town, and one on the south side of town. Each one with its own different prices and price ranges. However, of course, those are obviously not the only three sections of town, and there are different price ranges and different properties in other areas of the town as well that would uh, most likely uh, meet your needs. Not all properties are 300 to 450,000. There are properties of value less than that, and there are properties more than 700 or 800 thousand dollars in the area as well. So there's a great uh, variance and uh, diversity of properties there. Um, if you are uh, looking for views, of course, there's always seems like there's always a ridge somewhere in the Shenandoah Valley, but uh, also uh, you have the eastern side, or excuse me, the western side of the Blue Ridge Mountains here, and there's a lot of um, larger houses in some of these areas uh, with beautiful views as well. Um, finally, uh, I want to just uh, share with you a little bit about, I told you if you waited till the end, I shared with you a little bit about the census information uh, in, um, in Waynesboro. And let's just go ahead and go there and we'll see that compared that the first column here is the Waynesboro and the second column is the United States. And if we look at if we look at overall, we see that the population estimate is 22,550. So and that's as of 2020, 2021, you can see that in 2020, it was actually 22,196, which uh, the United States was about flat in its in its growth. So Waynesboro's up a little bit past that, growing a little bit faster than the rest of the United States. Um, 
one of the things about Waynesboro is that it is a, a, a fairly uh, diverse community uh, when compared to the rest of the United States as far uh, as its diversity goes. And uh, so a good mix of folks there. If we go ahead and continue down, we can also see that um, for rent and for uh, housing cost, of course, these numbers were from 2016 and to 2020, so they definitely have gone up over the last few years, but you can see some uh, some things here about mortgages as far as the comparison, so a little bit cheaper to live in Waynesboro than uh, on average than in the rest of the United States, and then of course the rent costs as well. And, um, and then finally, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the census report here, uh, I always like to look at this because how crowded is actually is, is really an area and um, yeah, major cities, of course, uh, are very crowded. That's why they're major cities. And uh, Waynesboro, as you can see, has about about 1500 people per square mile in that 15 mile area of Waynesboro. Now, compare that with like Charlottesville across the mountain with 3400 people. So it's a lot dense, less dense in its population. And certainly you get right outside the town and it's much less dense uh, and it's um, uh, it sits in Augusta County, which is uh, really like we showed early in the video. It's right at the crossroads of I-64 and I-81. So it makes it a very uh, important place for a lot of industries in Augusta County, a lot of a lot of um, uh, warehouses and things like that. And, and of course, other businesses as well. But as it really is thriving with economic opportunity at the time. So. Uh, one other thing we want to take a look at, just kind of go into one of the, uh, uh, some information so you give you market report. So here is a market report for Waynesboro, Virginia. As you can see down here at the bottom, there is uh, the average home price. Right now, this is just the last three, uh, last 30 days. It's been $338,000. It's a little bit more if you take all of Augusta County in, but I would say on average, uh, your homes are going to run about that. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, there's ones that are above that, ones that are below that. Um, you can see that um, it looks like uh, we've jumped up a little bit and we've all seen that across the country. Uh, markets slowed down a little bit, but like I always say, and especially in our area here, if if the home is priced right and if it is um, something that's in great shape, it looks good, it's going to go quickly. And, um, and so, the um, we're slowing down a little bit now, but we always slow down in the months of November and December as far as the amount of listings people have their focus on Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and the holidays and travel and things like that. One of the interesting things about Waynesboro, you see that the price per square foot is about $166. And as we looked in our other video, we saw that it's, uh, that's pretty consistent uh, across the board with uh, some of the areas, some a little bit lower, some a little bit higher. Of course, if you have more land, that's going to be a higher square footage because you have the land to include into that value. So, but um, let's just go down here real quick and we'll take a look at, um, we'll take a look at one of the, uh, one of the properties here in, um, in Waynesboro and not that one, that one's a church. So let's just go ahead and jump in here real quick. We'll take a look at one of the homes here uh, in the area. And uh, let's just let's just take this one right here, here in Waynesboro, you can see it's 499,000. So you can get an idea of what you can get for about $500,000. Looks like it is a newer construction and it is, it was built in 2020. And uh, we've got a nice two car garage there just for looking. This is in the Bridgeport neighborhood, which is one of the newer neighborhoods. And uh, it is a smaller lot, but as you see, it's got about 2,200 uh, square foot in, in the home itself. Um, the, um, let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the, uh, some of the pictures of it here real quick so you get an idea of what's on the, whoops, scroll back up there for you. What's on the inside and what's on the uh, outside of this uh, particular property. So, so I've got nice granite countertops, nice new cabinets, obviously, right? It's a brand new home. Uh, kind of has the open concept there uh, with the living room right off of the kitchen. And looks like we've got some nice uh, bedrooms as well, nice and large bedrooms uh, with the master uh, ensuite there as well. Um, it looks pretty nice. It looks like a nice place to, uh, nice shower. And of course the closet's right next to it as well. Like we got a, another bonus room here and then a nice little, uh, nice little porch on the back as well. So uh, there's a, a bit of an aerial view 
of what that is. And again, these are newer homes and they're in the Bridgeport uh, neighborhood. And this particular one is for uh, 500, uh, about $500,000. And that's kind of what about $500, $500,000 in a new home uh, will get you. But like I said earlier, there are certainly other properties, old, new, there's a great range and great difference variety of types of properties in the Waynesboro uh, area. So uh, with that being said, um, uh, Waynesboro in Virginia, Shenandoah Valley is a beautiful place to live. There's a lot of commerce going on out here, a lot of economic opportunity. And um, if you're coming to the Waynesboro area, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, like I said at the beginning of the video, just pick up the phone, give us a call or shoot us a text, send us an email. All that information is in the description below. And we would be more than happy, Leslie and I would be more than happy to help make your move to Virginia um, as smooth as possible. We can do a Zoom meeting. We can even do virtual showings for you if that's uh, if that helps you out. And uh, we love to help people. We love where we live. We love the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia and the Blue Ridge Mountains. And if this is the place for you, give us a call. We'll be happy to help. And until next time, we'll see you around town.